Good morning from Jupiter, Florida. My name is Jerry Gilpin with Denison Yachting, and today I'm taking you on a walkthrough through my newest listing. It's a 2013 Viking 66 convertible. One of the best-selling yachts in her class, the Viking 66, is a boat that is easy to get excited about. As I show you around and get you more familiar with her, you'll see that there are two ingredients responsible for the success of this series. The most crucial is her timeless and aggressive utility. The 66 first made her appearance on the water in 2013 and has been incredibly successful due to her traditional looks and modern interior. This particular Viking has also become a staple because her luxury furnishings leave you wanting for nothing. Her interior is loaded with only the best materials. Teak can be found all throughout her interior in addition to granite countertops and plush leather seating. The comfort of her four staterooms is rivaled only by her top-of-the-line performance. With very low hours, this 66 has been used primarily for cruising. A boat like this can easily be overfished and under-maintained, but not this Viking. She has been so lightly used that you'll have trouble finding one in this condition. An option that you have to love is that she has this factory-molded staircase leading up to the flybridge. If you've ever had your family on board a boat like this, you'll know what a great feature this is. Once you've made your way up this staircase, you'll step into an air-conditioned flybridge. Running the boat from this protected position eliminates almost every excuse for not being on the water. Another thing worth mentioning is that she carries a davit and a dinghy on the bow, which will convey with the sail. Having a tender on board brings the most remote locations right to your doorstep. The last feature I want to point out is that she has upgraded MTU power. These M91s are beasts. They make easy work of your journey in nearly any condition. With all of that out of the way, it is my pleasure to welcome you on board one of the most unique Viking 66s on the market. Let's kick things off aft in the cockpit. In all, this space is 174 square feet of top tier innovation, which means that if you're back here, you're in business. The thing that first jumps out at you are the gorgeous teak combings that wrap around this area. Looking to port, you see she's equipped with a Marlin door. There are also custom handles that are added to make it easier when you jump in and out of the water. Next to this is a transom live well. Looking underfoot, there are two large split lid hatches. These are your fish boxes. Both are macerated and the box on the starboard side takes on ice from an Eskimo ice chipper. Bolted into the sole is a blue water battle saddle fighting chair. This streamlined fighting chair frees up a lot of space by eliminating the footrest. Now let's take a look at the mezzanine. Starting the port, we first see the molded staircase that we've already gone over. This is the safest way to move between each level. At around knee height is a tackle center with four slide out drawers. There's also an array of cold storage in this area, starting with an insulated dry box. There's a refrigerated drink box, and an additional climate controlled cold box on the starboard side, perfect for your bay trays. In addition to the staircase, the seating found in the mezzanine makes this area special. It gives you a great seat for all the action and there's even dry storage below the seating. Center line in the mezzanine is the engine room access hatch. This engine room is powered by a pair of upgraded MTU M91s. To starboard in here are where we see her Raycor filters. Also down here, there's a Delta T forced air ventilation system, fire suppression, and a 700 gallon per day water maker. Finally, there is a Cummins Onan 27.5 kW generator. When this 66 is under full power, you can expect to see speeds of 40 knots. When you're taking your time in cruising, she is most comfortable at around 31 knots. Just as important as the engines and machinery that a yacht owner must invest in, a yacht's systems are only as accurate and useful as the navigation gear the boat has been given. With that in mind, let's take a look at the helm. You run this boat from behind a wide center island with a Palm Beach helm pod. Found on the levers to either side of the stainless wheel are her throttles, which have been integrated with bow thruster controls. Above the wheel and the console are a pair of Garmin 7215 multifunction displays you're also able to monitor all your engine data up here. For autopilot, this Viking is equipped with a Simrad AP28 unit. Facing the helm are three helm chairs that are just in front of rod holders. Forward of the helm is additional seating. Remember, I said that as of now, this yacht has primarily been used for cruising, so having comfortable seating is a big deal. Additionally, this area has a freezer and a refrigerated drink box. 
Overhead, it's a beautiful Palm Beach Towers hardtop that adds to the rest of this Viking's air-conditioned enclosure. Before we jump inside, let's take a look at the bow. I started today's walkthrough by saying that an important feature of this Viking's configuration was the 1500 pound davit and 14 foot Novaranian tender found forward on the bow. This tender has a 60 horsepower Yamaha four stroke outboard engine. Forward of this is her ground tackle, which features a Lumar capstan and fortress anchor on 250 feet of chain. A deleted pulpit cleanly finishes off her bow. Leaving the foredeck, let's jump into the salon through an electric door from the mezzanine. Imagine walking in here after a long day in the sun, making a quick meal of the day's catch. It's cold in here and gives you a hundred reasons to slow down. Aft on the port side is a cabinet in which we see the yacht's AC-DC breaker panel. Also in this cabinet is an Octoplex remote and water maker switches. Additionally, there's a remote mic for the boat's VHF radio. Facing starboard, the primary feature we see is a large L-shaped sofa. This wraps around a high gloss bird's eye maple coffee table. Leading us forward in the overhead are teak valance strips and dimmable LED lighting. Good lighting and classic touches like the teak are part of what makes this modern machine feel timeless. Continuing forward, we arrive at her island galley. We first see bar stools on the aft side that serves as a great spot for a quick touch and go lunch on the hook. If you're looking to take your time, there's a dinette found just opposite. Above the dinette is the salon's TV. Having a walkthrough galley makes it easy for more than one person to be working in here at a time. A few things serve this space well. Granite countertops add to the stout feel of this space and Amtico flooring rests beautifully underfoot. When it comes to the appliances, this galley features six Sub-Zero cold drawers, and a convection microwave oven above the countertops. Below their countertops is a trash compactor and a dishwasher. Forward and center line are a few other great options like this large temperature controlled pantry. Found in this pantry is a ton of storage and a wine cooler. Just outboard of this area is your clear ice maker. Now, follow me down the stairs into the lower companionway. First, let's make a quick stop at the Yacht's Laundry Center with integrated storage, found to starboard. Heading aft, we enter the first of four staterooms, this one with bunks. In addition to a hanging locker, there's also a TV. This stateroom features a private head and shower with a private crew access through the engine room. Moving back to the companionway, we make our way to the port side where we come to the master stateroom where they walk around Queen Berth. For storage, there are his and hers hanging lockers. At the foot of the bed, there's a TV with an ensuite aft. Forward on the starboard side of the yacht in the companionway is the ship's day head, which has sandstone Corian countertops and a stall style shower. There's also a Jack and Jill entrance into the third cabin, which is a bunk room. The fourth and final stateroom is forward in the bow. This VIP has a ton of storage as well as an ensuite. Thank you so much for joining me on today's walkthrough of this Viking 66 convertible. If you have any further questions or would like more information, please feel free to reach out to me anytime.